everyone, we've reached the final round. I'm here in Portia's wonderful living room, getting to know the girl that everyone wants to marry. But before we hear from her, our three remaining contestants are out on the road, about to take on the father's challenge. Don't forget, this is a test invented by our lady's dad to really pick out the wheat from the chaff the smart from the daft, the morally sound from the, well, weirdos. Trevor is ready and waiting with contestant number one, our very own Prince of Morocco. Thank you, Jessica. Yes, I'm here with Prince Morocco, who's about to undertake the challenge of his lifetime. But first, we're going to find out a bit more about the man behind the prince. Tell me, Morocco, what really gets you going? What gets you up in the morning? Bikes. I love cycling. It's just so good for fitness, muscle toning, complete workout. Great. And, and how are you feeling about Portia, the woman you're trying to win the contest for? Oh, I mean, I love Portia too. And it absolutely goes without saying that I want to marry her. That's absolutely why I'm here. To win the challenge her father set. We all want to win. Portia's smart. She's beautiful. She is super rich. Who wouldn't want her? <laughs> After I won round three, we went on this amazing date and she was such a good listener. I was telling Portia about this new mountain bike that I'm buying. It's a beauty. It's got front and back suspension, 25.7 inch wheels, disc brakes and large knobby tread tires. It goes really well with my road bike because that doesn't do too well on rough terrain. I was telling Portia that I fix all my bicycles myself and wouldn't let someone less experienced than me fiddle about with it and wreck it. I'm going to buy her a really beautiful hybrid bike of her own in green to go with her eyes, naturally. She'll start to enjoy riding with me once we're married. Once you're married, eh? Ooh, you're feeling confident about the challenge ahead. Absolutely. I mean, it's a complete mystery, this one. No one knows what Portia's dad has in mind. But I know I can rise to the challenge and finally have her hand in marriage. Confident talk here from the man with the bike. <laughs> All right, Morocco, the challenge begins. Here is an envelope from Portia's father detailing what you must do next. <laughs> Right, okay. Find three caskets somewhere about, answer the riddle, and then pick the right one. That sounds simple enough. Right, slight issue. I don't actually know what I'm looking for. What is a casket? Any ideas? Rhymes like with a basket. Yeah. Basket. Like, like, like you put something in. I don't see any baskets around. What is it? Boxes. What did you say? Boxes. Boxes. Really? Underwear. I can't remember what I'm wearing today, but let me have a look. No, 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 no. Boxes. Boxes. Oh. <laughs> Boxes. Not boxers. <laughs> okay, great. So I'm looking for casket boxes. Ah, here they are. Well, that was a bit too easy. In one of these boxes is a likeness of Fair Portia. A likeness? Eh? <laughs> oh, a picture. Like a selfie, I guess. But I must choose wisely. Let's take a closer look. They each have something written on them. The gold one says, Who chooseth me shall gain what many men desire. Well, that sounds good. Many men desire Portia. I desire Portia. The silver one says, who chooseth me shall get as much as he deserves. 
I deserve a lot. I'm very talented. I'm fit, healthy, attractive. I deserve Portia. And what about this one made of lead? Who chooseth me must give and hazard all he hath. Hmm, strange sort of riddle. I mean, what on earth does that mean? Give and hazard all he hath. Does that mean I'm going to have to give up my bicycle? Okay, so in order to win and be allowed to marry Portia, I have to guess which box this selfie is in. Weird idea of a dad's. Not sure what this is testing, but it should be pretty easy. I mean, who would put a picture of their daughter in with a load of lead? Who would? Lead is awful, poisonous stuff, heavy and a very dull gray color. Not much point to it, really. It couldn't be that, and I'm not giving up my bike for anything. So the lead box is out. Everyone knows that gold is superior to silver. Everybody desires gold. I mean, who would choose a silver chain when they could choose a gold one? I personally quite like a silver chain. Oh, well, there's always one, isn't there? But I bet most of your viewers at home watching this would choose gold. I'm um, right, right? Yes, definitely. And that's the one I'm going to go for. Trevor, hand me the key to the gold chest and let's find the portrait of the fair Portia. Isn't Portia? It's it's a skull with horrid black teeth. It's 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 death. There's some writing in the eye. All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Many a man his life hath sold for my outside to behold. Gilded tombs do worms enfold. Fare you well. Your suit is cold, cold indeed, and labor lost. Fare you well? Oh no! I think I must have failed! Oh yes, I'm afraid you've chosen the wrong box, Prince Morocco. All that glisters is not gold. Is it trying to say that shiny stuff isn't always the best? And that beauty can just be covering up a whole lot of bad stuff. Well, that sounds like someone trying to pimp a bicycle, taking something you know is rusty and just painting over the top. Oh, you must always check that the frame is solid. Well, I wish I thought about that before I opened the box. I suppose I won't be marrying Portia after all. I'm afraid not. How do you feel? Well, disappointed, obviously. But perhaps it wasn't meant to be after all. Look, thanks Trevor, for all your help. You've been very supportive. I'm going to be off now. Off to ride my new bicycle. Now let's go back to Jessica in Porsche's mansion. One contestant down, two left to compete for Portia's hand. Will they choose more wisely? Let's hope so. 